we're back we're back people okay if you could see the setup you would laugh at me it is the most precarious thing in the world that we move okay anyway today i'm going to talk about camp culture shock and by that i don't necessarily mean well these, these things kind of type mine just ignore we've been through this this it exists there that's like a perpetual thing it won't leave so just train your eyes okay yeah camp culture shocks that aren't necessarily american culture so shocks because i don't think these are specifically i mean they're american it's american camp like anywhere else in america i'm not sure if these things apply but i know they apply at camp and also this is not organized i wish it was but i seriously cannot find a way to categorize these shocks if you will because they're really it's just what is going on some of them i was not ready for at all <laughs> but i still love it nonetheless there's just some moments where I'm like, this is weird. And it will be, and you will have that. Be ready, but laugh. Just find it funny. Just go with the flow. Don't laugh at the serious stuff, though. You've got to be serious. Even if you're like, this is culty. Which, you know, in some cases. But just laugh. Go with it. Okay, let's begin. First of all, and I think this is an American thing. Every morning. Is it evening as well? Oh my god, it's been so long. I think it's morning. You wake up. We wake up at what we... We call it Reveille. I'm not sure if every, everywhere calls it Reveille. And our camp will play a, a song. And like you can put requests in for what song you get woken up to. It's quite fun actually. But you wake up to Reveille and you immediately, you know, brush your teeth, put on your clothes. And then you go to the flagpole. And you stand there for the Pledge of Allegiance whilst they raise the flag. I didn't ever learn the Pledge so you don't have to say it or anything but all the kids will stand there like you know it's just a thing they do which I thought was just in films but it really isn't that's a thing the next thing and this is like the first thing that hit me actually no the first thing that hit me was when the kids come off the bus because you're there for a bit before they come you have orientation when the kids come off the bus oh my god nothing will prepare you for that moment it's just bus after bus and i'm not talking buses i'm talking coaches of kids just spilling out and you don't know the kids that you're looking for if you've never been like you know their names and you've got signs with the cabin that they're in and like their names on it but they're looking for you so you're just shouting at these kids <laughs> yay welcome welcome oh my god Woo! like cheering screaming like <laughs> oh my god it's terrifying i remember the first time i was i was in between like completely dissociating like just standing there like and cry laughing like i couldn't work out where i was it was one extreme or the other i was just maintaining that in between it's a scary moment and that is the first thing you experience with the kids and i think that is the perfect way to set up the tone for the rest of the summer because that is that is one intense moment talking of that sort of energy camp is just that it's so loud it is so loud the ability to have quiet will only come like past half 10 ish in the evenings that's pretty much it i don't think there's ever quiet i mean you have rest hour or whatever but realistically you don't have much quiet or alone time that doesn't exist either you won't be alone there were times at night where like i had i'd, ha I'd be off duty and i would just find like a rock and sit on it because i was like <laughs> okay meal times meal times are scary if it's your first time going be ready because randomly during a meal like a whole six tables will stand on their chairs and start screaming at the top of their lungs and that's just a thing then your your kids will do it or you'll get them to do like chairs or like ballerina and they like spin around standing up on their chair or you get them to do cups like there's games and everything at meal times and you just there's just so much screaming going on when i say there's no quiet there is no quiet it's not even just quiet it's loud all the time so <laughs> and there's um songs for each for at least us there's songs for each division the song i sang every meal time at summer every meal time at summer what was i trying to say there every meal time the song that i sang um some of the lyrics i was like wow we're just singing this i don't think anything about it can feel normal if you've never done it before it's not natural at all but you just do it it's funny it's actually very funny and you get into it you can't be embarrassed in this place they don't allow it no embarrassment there and also they have replies to the chants the kids will get up on the table and chant like how funky is your chicken and then another table will get up and go it's funky it's funky how loose is your goose loose baby loose and you have a little dance that goes with it <laughs> i do miss it i actually do that's what's mad about this <laughs> the food now we're on meal times i'm talking about the food there's a lot of carbs and a lot of sugar like obviously that's american food i think a lot of american food is that but also it's needed you have so little sleep eat the carbs <laughs> i know a lot of you will be a lot of your brain will be like that's you know that's too much today it does get you through you're moving all the time all the time and you're looking after like 12 kids 
so you need energy. That's not to say like don't eat salad bar or whatever, but just don't reject the carbs because there's a lot of carbs. There's a reason there's a lot of carbs. That being said, American food generally added sugar in absolutely anything and everything. I don't know how they do it. Like the orange juice freaked me out. I don't even like orange juice at here half the time. Apple juice, same thing. Really made me sad because I really like apple juice. Um, jelly. Jam is not jam. <laughs> so when you want just jam on toast in the morning, you're not having that. You're having jelly on toast, which is a whole nother story. But you eat it because it got to a point where I was like, I need sugar and bread and so I just would have jelly sandwiches. Okay, talking about singing and chanting and all of that, that is an everyday thing at camp. There isn't a day where you won't sing a song or chant a chant. Sports, you have, you chant. I don't even know half of them. You pick it up as you go. Cause you know like in English sport, you say the most foul things <laughs> on the side. Yeah, we don't do that at camp. We do like, oh, every time before you play anything, you do the, I believe, I believe, I believe that, I believe that, I will believe that we will win, I believe that, and everyone's just like, Whoa. It's a very supportive environment, which is great. Lovely environment. Your voice will le leave you. Voice gone. If you have your voice by the end of the first week, you're doing something wrong. That's a lie. If you have your voice by the end of Colour War, you're doing something wrong. Oh, that's the point. In Colour War, because you're screaming so much, we have a, we have silent meal times. So there is a week where it's silent. Okay, camp traditions are serious. These people have grown up here and their like rituals and traditions, like they're serious. So there are moments where you want to be like, what is going on? Like there have been many moments where I was just <laughs> astounded. I'm not sure if Americans know that British people don't do this sort of thing. British people don't have pride about any institution really, unless you're someone who supports a football team. And even then they have a weird way of showing pride, you know, some of them are pretty low you know we don't have school pride we don't have uni pride really it's like their rituals and traditions are like so serious because they're so proud of where they come from and like what what this camp is so um if you find yourself which you will find yourself in some kind of ritual we have like a thing at the end of camp with lots of candles and stuff and you hold hands and so much of you is like what is happening like am i being initiated to something here just go with it it's fun the kids love it it's a tradition and they'll remember it for the rest of their lives just throw yourself into things even if so much of yourself is thinking I've definitely watched something like this in a doc documentary and it didn't end well not to scare you because it's not scary you're just like as a British person who never puts enthusiasm into anything you're all of a sudden we're too cynical basically these people are having fun as a British person you have to just pretend like you have fun on a daily basis I sound so miserable but like you get what I mean if you look at us versus them we are miserable um, which is ironic and I'll let you come up with reasons why I'm not gonna say anything one thing I found as a girl and i'm not sure if guys had this at camp you're living in close quarters right with many girls and you know you're all showering changing together you get in the pools together like you're very com you get very comfortable with, with yourself and with other people very quickly and it's genuinely a very nice experience i pr like i previously have not been the most confident like body confident i'm usually just I'm always covered from head to toe. I just like to be in my own little protected bubble, which is like fine, you can do what you want, but at camp you're really, really hot, it's, it's boiling, and you're in the water a lot, and obviously you live in a cabin with the showers in the cabin, and you're showering in the cabin. You get comfortable with your body very quickly, which I found really nice, because I felt very comfortable and confident. And also it's sunny, your skin is clearing, you know, you're getting a little bit of a tan. I don't tan, I freckle, but same, same. Yeah, I found as a girl at camp, my body confidence, just went like straight up. I had a great time and I think that's why I want to go back so much is that I just feel so comfortable there even though I've said all this stuff about it being you know a lot and a bit scary <laughs> just because it's not something you're used to right but it is lovely because everyone seems just from my experience I know some people have had not as great experiences uh, my camp is lovely and everyone there is lovely and it's just a comfortable environment and I really hope you guys ex you experience the same thing because it, it can be genuinely just such a welcoming place to be and if you're coming to my camp I'm excited for you because it's gonna be great talking about being in a cabin with a lot of girls gossip for me personally I think it's just because I don't in didn't really get I'm very bad at getting involved with this sort of thing like i i would love to listen I, I think there is gossip but it's not actually as like it's not that cliquey or at least i didn't experience this the thing is obviously this is all personal but i know that people have said it was but i and i was expecting it to be kind of you know a bit and a bit gossipy but everyone just we just i just had a great time <laughs> 
like in the evenings when all the girls would sit like on the porch and have a recap of like the night or the day it was just nice i think maybe i'm just i have nice people around me but um don't scare yourself with that honestly whatever is scaring you about camp if you haven't been yet don't be scared about things that haven't happened yet don't be nervous about things that haven't happened yet just wait get there and if it's not great you know then you make the move from there but until that point just be excited for it you know look forward to it also in a cabin full of girls you will be covered in glitter um everyone boys included will be covered in face paint at some point face paint glitter nail polish your hair will be braided with possibly beads and and um tinsel hair tinsel that was my favorite it gets colorful it gets fun and you will be accessorized even though it doesn't feel like the sort of place you'd be accessorized because you're you know sweating in the heat and just running around all the time but you know these girls are having a great time they'll bring their caboodles out and you will be made over okay be ready in terms of the heat as i just mentioned it's insane i go to a camp in pennsylvania the summer is hot and humid like it's really hot i can't remember now like 30s hot you know like at school when it gets so hot like they kind of stop doing things at school they have that at camp because obviously they don't want to like knock these kids out but the level that the heat at which they are like okay let's take a break let's everyone cool down blah 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 it's very high like they have a high heat tolerance so as a brit going into it yeah it's, ooh. Sometimes you just think you're gonna, you're out. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna be knocked out cold in a bit. Cold, ironic. J just drink a lot of water and ice. But yeah, it's bloody hot. That being said, it's genuinely stunning. Like, I don't think there has been an experience that I've had in the uk that's been like a pennsylvania summer like it's so green and so sunny and the sunsets are insane and you have like fireflies and everything like it's exactly out of a movie you know like, it's exactly what you'd expect it's just gorgeous like the whole time that being said <laughs> now i'm not afraid of many that's a lie there are certain things i'm really afraid of spiders i'm very scared of spiders i lose feeling in my legs if it's big enough and close enough to me but everything else i'm kind of okay with it's just kind of bugs you know so i experienced a wolf spider for the first time under my bed and we didn't even manage to get rid of it so it just stayed there <laughs> for the whole time i did cry like i did shed tears it was a reality check in that moment like you're living in a cabin you know in the middle of like nowhere and it's made of wood there's no windows either you just have like netting like wire mesh like bugs get in basically i remember josh texted me once saying a beetle just screamed at me and i laughed so the text was so like there was no context as well it's just a beetle just screamed at me and thing is i didn't not believe him because like i could just imagine a beetle scream like the size of these bugs i will put a picture of a bug but if you're scared of bugs don't look this bug was on the door of the canteen as i was leaving the canteen i literally went the entire other way around out the back door of the canteen and round the building because i didn't want to touch that door because what is that what is it if you know <laughs> let me know my thought was like first i thought it was a spider then i was like is it a moth is it a very big moth i don't know it freaked me out but yeah there are bugs big ones many frogs so many frogs but i'm not bothered about frogs snakes saw a few snakes but i'm not bothered about snakes either me and my coes we had to sit on the mini golf course for our free play period like we monitored the mini golf course and that's where like a lot of the snakes were which i don't really care about but i know a lot of people do they're just small little black ones they're kind of cute actually if they were bigger i'd kind of be like Ugh. um and turtles they're a thing first time i'd seen a wild turtle that's a lie but i didn't expect to see a wild turtle that was kind of mad also i've heard this is like not something i've ever witnessed and i've never actually been told this by someone who is from there but i've heard that there's bears <laughs> Like there definitely isn't bears, but I also know in some camps there are raccoons. That's a real thing. You don't want to leave food and stuff in your cabin, or at least not any food that like can be accessed. Okay, finally, there will probably be more that I'll come up with, so I probably will do a part two of this because there are so many things that I remember just thinking, what is going on? This is one thing that I didn't not expect it, but I didn't realize people were being this serious. Relationships between like counselors, that's just a big thing. Like I witnessed within a very short amount of time relationships being formed and people breaking up with their relationships you know that they'd left in the uk mad actually mad to me i didn't expect it first of all i didn't expect it to be that quick and i really didn't expect it to be that serious i mean i'm, I'm chatting like i met my boyfriend at camp but we did it normally just saying when i say that i mean we did it like took the whole summer and then at the end we were like okay this is yeah but some people just dive right in which no shame to you absolutely no shame cannot judge at all but it's just so interesting to me because i didn't expect it at first i just thought like yeah people have crushes you know 
overall everything really was a bit weird because you do just have to adjust also there's jet lag that's the thing um i didn't get it too bad but i definitely got it and that's another thing actually i didn't realize how much they wouldn't understand what i was saying there are words that they won't like one that really astounded me was we like i need a wee do you need to go for a wee i want you to go to the toilet because you might need a wee later a wee do you mean pee how could you not like deduce from like it astounded me and then i remember a quote which i will always quote now one of my girls said this is like at the beginning like go for a wee please no i said i need a wee and they're like you need a wee or do you need a wee which made me laugh because they call it pee and poo they assumed we called it wee and woo which like i get that's logical to be fair uh trainers they kind of got trainers very quickly but they still every now and then will just sarcastically just like get on your nerves they'll be like sneakers you're like yeah okay <laughs> okay <laughs> there are moments where you'll have to clarify yourself it'll be funny until it isn't another thing americans don't use a 24-hour clock so when you have your watch and someone says what's the time and you show them your watch if it's like you know like i was using like a casio they won't know what it is you have to tell them and also they don't say it like quarter two like if it's like quarter three you say oh it's quarter two I'll be wrong. you have to say like a 245 they say you know the number there will definitely be more that come to me so i may make another part to this at some point before i leave or i'll make another one when i come back and there's more also if you have any that you experienced or that you feel like you might experience please put it in the comments i want to hear they make me giggle hope you enjoyed it like you did with the last one just let me know if you have any questions people have dm'd me you can dm me or just leave it in the comments i feel like if, if you leave it in the comments then everyone else can read it as well which is quite nice because that's how i got so much of my information from last year i'm telling you i use youtube for like everything like it if you liked it and subscribe if you want to and i will be back next week maybe sooner but yeah bye this is all you want